And first tonight, we're seeing new plans to speed up commute times on one of Austin's busiest roads. Mopac is consistently ranked as one of the most congested roadways in Texas by Texas A&M University. KVU's Isabella Basco shows us what's in store to make the expressway less frustrating for drivers. Mopac is busier than ever attracting up to 200,000 cars per day, according to the Texas A&M Transportation Institute. If congestion isn't addressed, travel times are expected to increase, which Alex Kaler, a Northwest Austinite, dreads. It can be really frustrating, and especially if you have to go rush hour around 290, 360, it's just a mess. It's, I avoid it like the plague even worse than 35. So the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority, an independent government agency, is organizing an environmental study to look for a solution. The agency is looking at adding express lanes to an eight mile stretch of Mopac from Cesar Chavez to Slaughter Lane. The agency declined to talk to us today at an open house at Austin High School, but we did speak to residents. I'm really concerned about the concept of expanding the highway further. Um, I don't think that the science has shown over the years that making highways wider works. Bobby Levinsky is an environmental attorney. I think what we really are trying to solve for is how do we move people, not necessarily cars? Can we invest in other alternatives than just highway expansion that can help people commute? According to the project website, the express lane on Mopac from Cesar Chavez to Parmer Lane has worked since it opened seven years ago. It helped reduce travel times. But fellow Austinite Katrina Miller also wants to take the focus off driving. As long as we're prioritizing car driving, we are going to keep on pushing development further out into hill country and further up north and everything and commutes just get longer and longer. We don't have to add congestion. We can be smart and think about people like me who don't want to drive everywhere all the time and would happily take better public transit. Continuing the conversation on what the future of Austin Transit holds as more people hit the road. And that was our Isabella Basco reporting. Now, if you have any comments on this study, a virtual open house is taking place until the end of December. So for more information, visit our website, kview.com.